hey, Suzanne Bush, you play USTA League Tennis and you kind of play well. Oh, well, thank you very much. What's, uh, what's in your bag? What? What's in my bag? You want to know what's in my bag? Well, I'll tell you. You know, I've been playing USTA for a while, and yes, what's in my bag is very important. And it's kind of different than what the pros use because, or pros take with them, because, well, it's a, just a different league. It's 4.0, and, you know, it's fun. So, well, basically, let's start. Um, what's in my bag? You can start wherever you want. Okay, and this is my bag. Um, got my racket for hard courts, and then I have a racket for clay courts, and my water bottle. Oh, United States Postal Service. Oh, well. And my sunscreen, and grip. And what else do we have in here? Oh, a, an extra blouse. We sometimes go shopping afterwards. And, um,. Well, let's see. Uh, ooh, um, well, <laughs> I guess I can explain this. After each match, we're kind of um, obliged to bring, you know, beverages. And this is uh, one of our tennis players' favorite, Deba Holers. And, of course, limes. Go with that. And this is, oh, wow, look at this. In between match stuff. Yeah, baby, now we're talking. Yeah, well, and some of us don't drink beer like me. I don't drink beer. And this is, well, that's what this is for. Boy, this is not looking too good, is it? Um, oh, a bag of chips. Because a couple of times I showed up without snacks, and I kind of got dirty looks, you know, from people. Not to mention any names, ER. And here's cheese. Yep, and uh, oh, plastic wine glass. I don't know. Oh, this is this is even better. Plastic margarita glass and the salt. Well, here we go. Oh, some more limes. <laughs> it's not looking too good. All right, and uh, oh, here's Men's Health magazine. Yes, I read the articles only. I never look at the pictures. Oh, visor. Here we go. Back to reality. <laughs> and uh, oh, you know what these are for? You know, you're not supposed to drink until the match is over, but I've seen the girls do the look and load. They'll look, make sure that I'm still playing, and then they'll load up. Pretend they're stretching. Oh, I hate them. And they're half loaded by the time I get off the court, so they don't care if I win or lose. I mean, it's, I, mean I love my teammates, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they just, their priorities are just not correct. Um, yeah, this is if we win. Or if we lose, <laughs> doesn't matter. And some of us don't drink red wine, so here's some white wine over here. Oh, tennis balls, got to have those. And, uh, oh, this is to help me call lines. I attach this to my belt. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's my com comments about some of my uh, opponent's line calls. A knife for the... Um, Oh, the cheese or, or the limes, doesn't matter. And let's see, tennis magazine. And interior decorating magazine. I mean, you know, sometimes we like to talk strategy, sometimes we like to talk about the pillows that we put on our couches. You know, I uh, love my team, I really do. Oh, and you know what? Here's something. Can you get a close up of this? How to Play Tennis Under the Influence by S. Santor. This woman is a genius. Not only has she written this book that we, you know, we consider our Bible, but she's outlined it in really, really great chapters, and especially this one here, How to Cope When You Are Hungover. That's our favorite. Our team really, you know, goes to this book a lot, so I, I guess I have to pass this on. I've had it for a while. So anyway, that is what's in my bag, and what was in my bag, and now it's all here for you to see. And I guess, I, I don't know, there's not much more to say than that. I'm kind of embarrassed. But, oh well. Anyway, I'm Suzanne Bush, and that's what was in my bag.